What are you doing? Why are you always playing me, Tiffany? Where are you about to go? I'm about to go home. Oh, yeah? Can I come with you? Oh, please. That will never happen. Why you got to say it like that? The only thing I want to do is give you the best back massage you have ever had. Uh, Trey? Hi. So you massaging or what? Trying to. <laughs> when you get your license, man. Man, I'm just saying everybody don't even like massages. What, dog? You ain't got no game, man. What? <laughs> yeah. Ken, what are you talking about, man? I can't remember the last time I seen you with a girl. Wait a minute. Oh, fourth grade, Nika. Nika was fine, man. Yeah, but when you was where she didn't even have breasts, dog. Okay, so now you got jokes. Man, come on, dude. Let's get up out of here and go get something to eat. Yeah, you're going to play these games. You're going to pay, though, Mr. Ha Ha. So, what y'all think about Tiffany? Where's Tiffany? The one you just saw me talking to. Talking about Tiffany Carson? Yeah. She's straight, but I wouldn't swear. Mm, that's it. She's crazy thick, dog. <laughs> she won them quiet chips, too. I wouldn't even have to use a rubber on it. <laughs> I mean, I don't think she messes with anybody. <laughs> What's so funny? You naive, player. How am I naive, Dane? You still think you can't get anything from a girl just by the way she looks? You don't know what she be doing, dog. She could be a freak for all you know. <laughs> and even if she isn't, it only takes once. I told you, use condoms. Man. Y'all corny. Last time I checked, Cam, you wasn't my pops. Y'all act like I'm trying to do it with Brenda Harris or something. Uh, <laughs> that's wrong. I know it's out there, but if you think about it, how many people you know that got AIDS? Wait a minute. Y'all know that dude that used to be on the basketball team a few years ago? The team that won state? I think it was like two years ahead of us. Phil Thomas? Nah. Play point guard. You know he played ball at the park all the time. No, you ain't talking about Nate Williams. Nate Williams. That's right. He has HIV. What? How do you know? My cousin's real cool with him. So what, your cousin just goes around telling everybody his business? No, nah, man, it's not even like that. Nate is open about having HIV. He even talked to some kids around the way about, you know, living with HIV and clarifying some of the misconceptions and stuff. Well, there you go. Now you know somebody with HIV. That proves my point exactly. Think about it. Out of the three of us, we only know one person that got AIDS? Well, I mean, just because you don't know who has it, man, doesn't mean it's not out there. Whatever, man. Nate was doing it with half the chicken heads in our school. I'm just talking about doing it with little old Tiffany. What? 
Yo. You and Nika cool? I used to be his girl back in the fourth grade. Oh, huh? yeah? She need to go handle that, kid. Man, we just friends. Man, look at her. She's ready. Right here, right now. You need to go handle that, man. You were senior in high school. You're too old to be scared of girls. You're such a L7. I mean, four corners. I need to stop hanging with you. Bro, you can still catch it. No, man. No, no. Kev, you all right? I'm cool. I just, I just got a lot on my mind. I know one thing that's not on that little mind of yours. Yo, where you going? I, you know. All right, that kid, put them books down for a minute, man. Stop acting like a girl and let's hang out. No, dude, I gotta go get a jump on this project that's due next week, so I'm a bounce. All right, man. Peace. What's wrong with your boy, man? Show boy, bro. Kevin, 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 Kevin. <sighs> what is it, Bree? Are you gonna make him want you play today? Mm-mm. Can't. Remember last time I took you with me? You got lost and I couldn't find you for hours. I won't do it again, I promise. <sighs> Not this time. Next time, okay? All right. Don't give me that look. <laughs> Bree, get off of there. The counter is for glasses, not for asses. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey. I'm about to go uh, play ball with some of the guys. Okay. You take it easy out there. Oh, not a little baby. I can't take it easy. If I do, nobody's going to leave me on the team. And I'm stuck playing with you. And you know that's not fair because you got that killer jump shot. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, you be safe. I will. I gotta go get into this project. There you go. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. All right, kid. All right, kid. How you let that old ass man steal the ball from me? It was a bad pass. Always got an excuse. The dude had to be at least 80 years old, man. How you let him take the ball from you? What? Ain't that Nate over there? Hey, yo, man. I holler at y'all on Monday, man. All right, man. Yeah, that's him. You sure he got HIV? Yeah, I'm sure. I wouldn't joke about that. I don't know, man. What? I'm just saying. It doesn't look like you got HIV, all right? How does someone look like they got HIV? I don't know. They be skinny, losing weight, or something. Well, you know they got treatments for it. Yeah, but no cure. How do you find out he had HIV anyways? He got tested or something? I guess. I don't know the dude's life story. I don't know, man. Call me ignorant. That's one thing I don't want to get tested for. I don't want nobody telling me I'm about to die. Let's get up out of here. Right here. Uh, hey. Don't creep up on me like that. I'm gonna creep up on you. You've been texting me all day. <laughs> I wanted to say sorry for not saying hi to you at the restaurant yesterday, but you know your boy Trey repulses me. <laughs> it's cool. Don't worry about it. Where are you headed? I'm just going home. I was over at Danielle's house working on my senior project for English class. How'd it go? It's okay. <laughs> you want to walk me home? Of course. <laughs> so I'm guessing he got HIV from having sex, right? Yeah. He said he had another STD and that makes him more susceptible to getting HIV. Susceptible? Do you not know what that means? Yeah, fool, I know what that means. But does he know who gave him HIV? I'm not sure now, but a while ago, my cousin said he had to narrow it down to two girls. For real? Yeah, this one chick I think he used to go to college with, and there's some girl who used to go to our high school. Some girl from our school? Yeah, you better notice something? Nah, man, I'm cool. Don't worry, dog. She was older than us. You don't know what her name was. 
told me her name, but I didn't know her. I remember my cousin said she was kind of short, though. I had braces. <laughs> she must have been a beast. Yeah, buddy. Those my boots. Hey, baby, what's up? You need a ride? No, nah, I'm a footy, man. All right, bro. All right. How you doing, boo? All right, bro. Hit me up tonight. All right. Let's go. Tripping, man. Taking me out in the third quarter. That's why we lost the game. Come <laughs> over, man. Yeah, come on. What up? Where you going? Do I know you? It's me, Trey. Nah, I don't know you. You go to Hopkins High, right? You're one of the cutest girls in school. Aren't you like a freshman? Nah, I'm a junior. I just stick to myself. Show now. Yvonne. Fine, huh? I like that. So you haven't told your friends that we're together yet, have you? No, not yet. You know they be sweating me and stuff. Well, that's cool. As long as you're not ashamed of me. Of you? Yeah. You crazy. <laughs> you want to come in? I don't know if I'm ready to meet your family all right now. You know, plus I'm all funky from playing ball, girl. You don't want me up in there. It's okay. There. My mom's at work and my little sister's staying with my auntie this weekend. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Why don't you let me give you a ride home? Where's your car? That looks like your boy's car. It's just my driver. Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't know y'all like that. Let me walk you home then. What about your car? I'm gonna drop it off at the crib later. I guess, come on. Give me a quick second. Catch you later. All right, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. So where's home at? On Saturn Street. Oh, snap. What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. I should just probably get going before your mom gets home, though. Don't worry, Kevin. We have plenty of time. <sighs> Nico, I, uh, I just think we should take our time on all of this. You know? Hey, you know you're my girl, right? Right? I gotta go. Mm. Mm. What's wrong? I told you I got a boyfriend. I thought you liked me. I do, but maybe we should slow down. Slow down? Why? Besides, you said you don't even have a condom. Don't worry. I'm clean. You ain't got nothing to worry about, okay? Hi, Ms. Jackson. Hi. Is Kevin home? No, I thought it was with you and Dane. No, he left the courts before us. You know where he might have went? It's not like him to uh, be out all day without checking in. No answer? It's going right to voicemail. Maybe I should call the police. Don't worry, Miss Jackson. I'm sure he's fine. All right. Um, if you see him, we just have him call home, please? Will do. Have a nice day, Miss Jackson. Thank you. You too. Yo, what up, Trey? You coming from my house? Yeah, I was looking for you. Oh, yeah? I thought you was coming home after the course. You got your mom worried about you. Oh. <laughs> oh, what? I was over at Nika's house. Really? Yeah, what's wrong, man? Let's go somewhere and talk in private. Everything all right? 
I don't know, man. All right, let me just go uh, check in with my mom real fast. I'll be right back. So what's going on, Trey? You're making me nervous. I'm only coming at you like this because you're my best friend, and I can trust you, right? Yeah, of course. Remember we were talking about Nate Williams the other day? <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Well, after you left the course today, he came up there and we was balling. Anyways, me and Dan got to talking. I asked him if he even knew who gave him HIV. Yeah? He said last time that he checked, he narrowed it down to two chicks. OK. There's a chance he might have got it from Yvonne. What? The Yvonne you used to mess with? You did use protection though, right? Dang, man. <sighs> Yo, but look, that doesn't mean you have it, all right? There's, I mean, maybe they didn't hook up. Maybe they didn't have sex. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> they must work for me when it came to the chicks, man. I mean, I don't think there's nothing wrong with me. That's good, but you should get tested, Trey. I don't know. What if I am infected? I don't know if I can live with the fact that I know I'm gonna die. That's why you get tested. So you know if you need to be treated. There's people surviving with HIV. People are living longer and longer with HIV and AIDS. Are you crying, Kev? No, man. I just... You should get tested. Man, I mean, that's easy for you to say. You don't even change girls like me and Dad. I mean, you all into your books and stuff? Trey, you ever wonder why my mom seems so overprotective with me? A little. Well, about a year ago, I found out I was HIV positive. My mom, she's just real scared, and so I gotta be strong so she don't fall apart. Kev, your boy, man, you should've told me. It's not the easiest thing to tell people, man. I mean, most people in my family don't even know. It's not, it's not even that I'm ashamed of it. I just don't want to be treated differently anybody else. I mean, I got good grades. I'm still going to college. I mean, basically, I live a pretty normal life, you know? Kev, you always gonna be my boy, man. It's gonna be all right, bro. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Man, I was trying to tell you earlier I was over at Nika's house. Yeah? Well, we was over there, you know, kissing and carrying Ooh, on. For real? <laughs> yeah. While we were over there, I mean, I just, I just had so many things running through my head. What were you thinking about? I was thinking if I had just slowed down, or if I had just used protection with the girl I was with. It was just that one mistake. Damn, that must be tough. It is, but you know, it's something that I can do with. It's a, it's a part of my life now. I can handle it. You know, I really do care about Nika. And I know I gotta tell her before we do anything physical. Um, man, I was just talking about people we know with HIV. I never thought in a million years it would be you, Kev. I know. Dog, this day don't even seem real right now.
Almost half of the people living in the U.S. today with HIV are African American. Young African Americans aged 13 to 24 make up 65% of reported HIV diagnoses. One in five people living with HIV don't know they're infected.